need help, so if you want to sit here and help me with this one, you can. It's up to you. I would. Oh, you're good. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, you guys are all together. All right, Brian. All right, yeah, take it easy, man. All right, everybody, we're streaming a little early here. Just wanted to get the address here on our YouTube channel. So we're going to know it's Marcus McLean here. I don't know who he's bowling at. I'm a man of a thousand hats today, so. Adam. Okay, so we got Adam D, the seventh seed, and Marcus McLean, the five seed. So they're going to get one ball on each lane practice. Marcus is going to have choice. There we are. I'm on my YouTube. All right. Just going to grab the address real quick, everybody. And blast it all over Facebook. Looks like our, I can't tell if it's if the quality's not great on your end or if it's just my end, but it doesn't look like it's too good today. My computer is not currently plugged in, so I'm guessing that has a lot to do with it. Yep, I'm on 720, which is as high as I can go. So it's more than likely just sucking my battery here is what's going on. All right. Got one viewer. Someone got the memo. Refresh the page for future event or future matches. Blast us all over Facebook real quick. Yeah. No, you tricked me out. I did the best thing about it. I did one on mine too, and it's also blue. Yeah. This, these are the best things. The best things I've ever so these are still their practice shots. Still just on Facebook here. My microphone's so far away. I'm going to get it closer here. Got a new microphone here. I'm trying to blast this all real quick. Thank you. You got to get going right here. I was going to ask if it was all right. Yeah, that's why I want to do this one, but I figured you're probably wanting to get home. So. All right. Thanks to Brielle Newberry, everybody, for helping us out tonight. All right. Well, thank you. You got everything for sure? I gotta go. You got your tripod too. I All put right. I put the phone yeah, okay. your stuff. All right. Well, have a good night. See you. Yep. See you later. Yeah, it really helped a lot. This was kind of a crazy night. My printer broke, so that wasn't fun. Updating my website real quick. Looks like they're ready to go. One one match for the final here. Give you guys some scores and all that here in a minute. Just updating everything here. Wearing a few hats. I bought all this stuff though. It's kind of cool. All the streaming, the streaming devices. So Adam D just beat Justin Knowles in the other semi, 223 to 191. And in the other semi, it's a very good match. We had Marcus McLean. Oh, I guess it wasn't. My bad. Marcus beat Caleb Sawyer, 259 to 210. So a little bit of a blowout, actually. So 
Set this all up. Bear with me. Hard to run a tournament and do all this at once. But such is life. All right, got that set up. Go over some qualifying scores real quick. You can find all this on scratchbowling.com. But we got Joe Grandin was the number at 781 for four games on Kegel Boardwalk. We had 53 bowlers today. Noah Samuels led 10-29. Second was Chad Steven, 9-73. They were the top two. They had a bye in the first round. Next one down, 8-98, Jonathan Dean. So those top two bowlers were way out in front of everybody. All right, I am back. We got 10 viewers. Nice. We're finally building up some viewership here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Feel free to chat on YouTube. I'll, I can see the chat because I'm on my computer. So I can actually chat back for once. Yep, have a good one, man. Yep. Yeah, you've been pretty good. <laughs> All right, let me update here. So Adam had a strike in the first and we got a spare nine for marcus so he's going to be down on a pin and not two spares here and obviously if adam strikes in the second he'll be up 11. So I, I jinxed them to take the blame for that one so marcus has a 28 in the second put the hole there strike in the first for adam i guess had to open the big mouth I can't believe we got 10, 12 viewers now and nobody's chatting. Come on, guys. Work with me. <laughs> Maybe I got my chat turned off somehow. I don't know. I think it's on. Just nobody wants to talk to me, apparently. I can't blame that. Man, I came all the way from Muskegon. I think he said he was working in the area today. He bowled a lot of our West Michigan events. And when we pulled this off, we've got all four quarterfinal matches streamed, both semifinals streamed. Brielle's audio went out, so she couldn't commentate down there. Not sure what was going on there. Um, we're running, we're not plugged into anything. We're just running our batteries, so it might not have had enough power to work down there. That's what I'm guessing. I have power strips and cords. I just we've been running our butts off. Just me and her trying to run the tournament and set all the stuff up so you guys can watch. So it's been it's been a little hectic. My printer my printer died, so that didn't help. We've been fighting it all night. Been a little bit behind all night. I think it went pretty good. I'm not saying anything about this shot. I'm not gonna jinx any more people. I'll give you the score afterwards. How about that? There we go. We got some chatters. What's up Jason? Your buddy's up here right now. Jason Bart's friend is up here. He doesn't hear me. George Roberson bowl tonight. You think who's going to win, George? No problem. Is that Tony Hart from Lansing? It's got to be. I'm assuming that's you, Anthony, Tony Hart. All right, now I'll update you with that strike. So Adam D's got 20 um Double nine spare. So he's got 49 in the second with a spare in the third. Marcus has 28 in the second with a strike in the third. So it's a 20, 21 pin match. And a strike here will get it down to 11 if he can strike here in the fourth. Adam's going to win. All right. It's looking good so far. George Robertson said, You're going to win, Adam. <laughs> He says thank you. Thumbs up. Double for Marcus. We got 11 pin match here. So we're bowlers. We can talk right to the bowlers when they're in the match. It's not like baseball or football where they're super far away. We get exclusive action here. 
had me back. He wasn't right next to me. I wouldn't have said anything. He was literally standing right next to me. Am I loud or quiet, or is this pretty good, guys? I think the right here win. And it's weird, too, because everybody thinks the short patterns are the lefty patterns, right? This is 35 feet today. Pickle Boardwalk. We had some lefties in the cut. The leader was lefty for sure. He crushed. The second was a righty. The top two were one lefty, one righty. And they both killed it. Knowles made the cut. Cool figure. We didn't we didn't have a lot of our strong lefties here today. Let's see it, yeah. No, no Zelichowski. Drake Bazzi, where are you, man? I haven't seen you in a minute. Shane Cannell. You know, a lot of those guys bowl on the other side of town. Actually, tonight they all bowl at score. I know there's a big trio. I think it's a trio we get score on Thursday. That's why we, we did the other side of town on Mondays. Because all those downriver guys are bowling at score on Thursdays. So that's where they're all at. Got some Zelichowski's over there too. Didn't even watch that. I'm just hoping. So we got a really tight match right now. It's just a couple pins right now. Adam's got that voodoo roll, man. He's got. It's one of those that looks like he's spinning it, but I don't think he is. I mean, he's got a lot of rotation. I had to guess, I'd tell you, he probably has a high track, but it looks like from back here a low track. But I think it's one of those tricky rolls, the Dale Strike roll. Just a little more rev, a few, a few more revs than Dale Strike these days. Sorry, Dale. But. I had him kind of gets a lot on. All right, so Adam has a 70. My vision is not good. 76 in the fourth with a spare in the fifth. It puts uh, Marcus in the 80s in the fourth. He's not quite up a mark. Actually, it would be 88 if he strikes here, so it will be up to 12 pins. I can't see these 8s and 6s at all from, from back here, but it would be 88 if he strikes here. If he gets an 8, it will be exactly a mark. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Ooh, I predicted that one. So we got a 10 pin match. Not loving my location here with my camera. I think we're a little far away, but you can see pretty good. I'd like to be able to get a little closer, but I didn't want to be real. Well, their front tables don't move. I think they're bolted down. So. Sitting at one of these tall back tables. We got a lot of stuff, a whole bunch of tripods. We can do a lot of different things. And as I say that, I remember this tripod goes higher. I could have could have put it up higher. A little late now. So if the bowler is in the way, it just kind of is what it is right now. Definitely should have put this tripod up. I think it goes up five and a half feet, if I remember right. And an eight for Adam. Oh, you didn't see that. He left two eight, came in light. It sounds like karaoke night, doesn't it? They're just getting rowdy back then. <laughs> Got a hopping bar, bar scene here. And, oof, that was close. Picked it up. So back to being a 12 pin lead for Marcus. 106 in the fifth to 94 in the fifth. So Adam's got 94. So pin count still pretty interesting. Pretty 
a good one. He's getting up. Looks like he's throwing resin, so that's... Assuming I'm right on that, he's got resin on top of that European, and it's, it's just skating. I mean, it's a clean resin. It's a shiny one. It's a good way to be, because you can, you can use the, Euro, the urethane and shim with those balls. It's, it's shimming a little bit too long. Maybe I'll pay attention more on Marcus, because I can't, I don't know if he's, I think he's throwing urethane. You guys would probably know. You're probably paying more attention than I am. Yeah, that's your thing. Definitely right. He's way right. Kind of going through the motions here. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Strike for Marky Mark. This is a big one here. He didn't, it's been tough to throw a double this match. There's not a lot of strikes in this match. They both have one double so far. 126 for Marcus and a 6 with a strike up. 113 for Adam and a 6 with a spare in the 7th. So this is the 8th frame. You guys might be able to see the score. I, I can't see. I mean, if I look at my monitor, I can't see it. There's a big double. In this hand, it looks like a black hammer, but it's going down the lane to look like a purple hammer. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's a purple. See some light on it coming down the bar return. It's definitely a purple hammer. Tony, I think you were right. If that's not karaoke, that's the bartender singing. Good song, though. This is 15 and 16, Steve. <laughs> Steve Andriola watching. He was just up here. <laughs> a couple guys. George Robertson's watching, too. He was just up here, too. Got 13 viewers. That's awesome. Still a brand new YouTube channel, so a lot of people still don't know about it. I appreciate you guys watching. We both lined up now. This is bad for Adam. He's still down 13. All it takes is one non strike. Actually, it's 23 pin. Marcus got his double a frame earlier, so now it's a 23 pin lead for Marcus. So he's got to basically stay clean here. Barring back in count. Eight square eight would open things up for Adam, but anything less gives him a chance. Anything more, and Marcus wins. Nine square eight would force him to punch out the tie, I think. Or eight square nine. Strike for the win, no. All right, so Marcus cannot shut him out. He can spare strike to force Adam to punch out high. Unless I'm stupid, which is definitely possible. <laughs> is that right? All right, Adam agrees with, with which part? The stupid part? <laughs> he agrees with my math. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, All right, strike to force three for a tie, nine or less, and Adam can punch out to win. Write these down so I don't forget. Actually, I got the website right in front of me. So I can have them updated as they bowl. So awesome they are. Thanks to Aaron Phillips for building this badass website. 
A good shot. A very good shot. 223. Marcus McLean. So Adam needs them all to tie. And if they tie, it'll be a ninth and tenth roll off. Got a good first match here for the uh, first final. Oh, it's not our first final, but first one with my new microphone, new webcam. It's pretty good. Oh man, that was that was resin on top of urethane, is what that was. It was just a weird hit. Light four pin, and the four didn't even move. That was definitely a, some urethane messing with that shot, but a good shot. So Marky McLean is going to be the winner today. Maybe we'll get him for an in-depth interview. <laughs> Wouldn't be a good one. Wouldn't be a good one, he says. Need some eighth in practice. Yeah. <laughs> so you need some eighth in practice. You missed that one earlier in the game. But I'm actually going to shut, shut this down as soon as they're done so I can get a picture that you guys taken care of and get out of here because this place is waiting for me to leave. Oh, their bar is hopping right now. 223-202. Marcus McLean is your winner. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a good night.